summer is upon us and whether you're having a backyard barbecue, hanging out with your friends and family, it is very important to make sure that you stay connected socially and emotionally so you can have a great time during summer and be prepared when we come back in the fall. So to help you stay engaged, we're gonna talk about four things to help you have a great summer. That includes extra practice with academics, social emotional learning apps, social emotional learning websites, and great activities to rejuvenate your brain and body with fresh air. Number one, extra practice on academic applications provided by a school can help you close the gap in learning and assist in retention and comprehension of the things that you learned from the past year. Depending on the school, there's going to be many programs available, but the district is providing two core programs depending on the age level for extra practice. This includes iRead for reading and phonics for kinder through second grade and iReady, a general core math program for kinder through fifth grade for math and language arts. Additionally, three intervention programs will be available. Imagine Learning, System 44, and Math 180. If your child was in one of these programs, they will know how to log in and how to use them. Remember, this is not a requirement, nor is it distance learning through our teachers, but it can be a great assistance if you work on either interventions or core programs, even just a few hours a week during your summer. Number two, social emotional learning apps. These are apps that help you with self-control, social skills, relationship development, and even decision-making. We know there are a plethora of meditation apps out there, but we recommend Well Beyond Meditation because it helps you practice to improve sleep, focus, kindness, and caring for others. To help with emotions and empathy, try Touch and Learn Emotions. It's an app that helps kids understand how to read emotions and how to learn to express yourself. Finally, Headspace is a great app to help with guided meditations, improve focus, and to relieve stress. Works for kids and adults as well. Number two, along with apps, there's also some helpful websites where kids can practice self-control, social skills, and decision-making skills. Mind Yeti is a great website with mindfulness. This gives you exercises to train your brain to calm itself down so it can be in its best shape for learning and for relating with others. PBS Kids also carries a wide variety of feeling games with a special emphasis on social stories, which help with regulation of emotions and behavior. Finally, if you're dealing with some tough issues, I'd recommend the Committee for Children website, which has some great videos on how to overcome some challenges that are typical for students. Finally, make sure to get some fresh air. Using your best judgment, allow kids to go outdoors for walks and to play. Always keep in mind the restrictions, but it can be very healthy to go to a park or open air place to enjoy nature. You can take up a new hobby like painting or doing arts and crafts, which is helpful for the mind and the body. And finally, make sure that you enjoy your time with your friends and family as you would during any summer. So as you plan your summer, make sure to try to do some extra practice engage your mind and body using social emotional learning apps and websites and don't forget to get some fresh air as we enjoy our summer vacation this video was a small piece of a plethora of resources and summer wellness ideas and tips you can find more by clicking on the school counseling website checking under parents and clicking on school counselor there you can find more information on how you can boost your summer with some activities, increase your own families and child's social emotional learning, and how to cope with the changes that we're all dealing with. And of course, if you would like any other information, would like to get in contact with me, or would like to see more videos like this, go to our school's website, click on parents, and then click on school counselor. Have a great summer, everyone.